Oh, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Bionicle review, and this one's on a Korok Call and a Parok Call from 2003, of course. So on the front of the, so for the manual entry, which I have for Korok Call, of course, we got the Bionicle logo and picture of Korok Call in a icy part of Matanui, and also the Lego logo, set number 8574, and a little bit of odd artwork and also the shield lit up with the Korok call name there. Front page of which is just Tana call emerging from the Borak nest on the back of which an advertisement of all the other Borak call there was. And then some artwork showing the storyline. And then, then instructions for the uh, Boraka Kaita. And then how to fold, the, fold up into the canister, of course. And then the last steps. So as for Korok Call here, of which, and obviously like the Borak, other Borak Call in this way, just same thing as the other Borak, but in, but of course has the main color for both the body and the limbs, of course, instead of the limbs being in, in a different color, and also a lot of silver for both the uh, ball socket or hand joint kind of pieces and for the feet as well of course but and of course the only difference is the face plate to printings and also the uh, shield or shield weapons of course well as for Nuvok calls here in particular which did, which were at first exclusive to it and, but although this it, did also come in the 2004 Star Wars Millennium Falcon set, but that was in a dark orange color for that. And of course, even though that can kind of work in other stuff as well, but yeah. And then as for the eyes piece, which also same as the original uh, Korok and Korok Va, of course. And then as for, and also these. Uh, shield pieces were also used on the Usani in from the original 2003 Takanuva set as well. But, well, only time we ever got to see them reused on that. And as for his face shield here, which printing's now in white and kind of an odd shape for it, and also does have the face shield kind of in the center, of course. And like the others, opens right up and has the uh, Krana call in it, but with a shiny white coloring to it. And of course, can swing it out like so. And now, if you're wondering, is why is the rubber band in red instead of green? Well, well, I have kind of lost one of my rubber, my green rubber band. Or green rubber band, so replaced with this red one and works out fine. But yeah, and of course can swing forward like so. So like the others, but yeah, and that is about it with Cora call here. And now to Para call, of course, with same story, but in dark brown. But and of course the limbs also in dark brown instead of tan like the original, of course. And as for his shield. So which, kind of similar to the original, but when yet kind of more piston-like than. Yes, but not sure if the, if these were ever reused in any other sets. But if anyone knows if they were reissued in any other sets or used in other sets, well, comment down below, of course. 
Although I feel maybe an Exoforce or something. And also forgot to mention that all the Barak also which were the first to use both the uh, three rod and five rod in light gray, which carried on to all the other years, of course. And also the eye pieces, same as Parak and original, original and Parak vase, of course. And then as for his face plate here, that the this the shaping of the markings, which a little different, which of course all Barak vase were, and they were, and the face plates were all exclusive to them. And of course, in the center is his uh, shield weapon, of course. Open, and then there's his crock, you know, sort of a gunmetal gray kind of coloring to it, and fling out like so. Oh, wait, let me do that one more time. Yeah. And now onto the folding up feature. So now on to the final verdict. And overall, I think these which are quite good sets and cool, as well and also quite cool as well. Like for the time and also today, of course. Like obviously with the rolling up feature, like all the Boroks tend to have. And of course, like all the Borok call sets do have some stuff exclusive, have a couple of pieces exclusive to them, like the face shields and the shield parts. Even though Korok calls, what did get reused in a couple other sets, same with Galak calls as well, or well, some of them, of which did, well, but yet again, and as for the price points that they were back in 2003, like six, seven dollars or so, well, and just with inflation would be around ten to eleven dollars today, but still kind of fair as is. This end was necessary to say. Not much, but yeah. And so now, if any of you, okay, and so if any of you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely get them. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.